Hello everyone, and Happy Halloween! Today I'm going to be taking a look at Bram Stoker's Dracula. <laughs> the novel that basically started the whole vampire subculture thing. It was originally written like a, by about, about 115 years ago, and does it still hold up after all that time? Well, a little. Stuff that I liked about it, I thought it did a great job at, um, you know, creating a creepy atmosphere whenever they're describing anything or talking about whatever. <clears throat> Especially uh, Jonathan Harker's first uh, stay in uh, the castle of Count Dracula. It was, um, I thought the Dracula was a very cool and unique vampire. You know, I thought it was really um, interesting to like, uh, get all of these different powers like controlling the weather, controlling animals, you know, um, he, it was, um, he wasn't actually killed by sunlight, he just like loses powers but it didn't like make him burst into flames or spark or anything. And that was really interesting, especially with all of these different um, vampire um, stories that just either that like um well let's see um even with the whole vampires bursting into flames little thing we've been having vampires running around in daylight for always I mean they would always use some sort of the writers would always use some kind of loophole and say like oh well uh he was standing in a shady spot or He's wearing heavy clothes to protect him from the sun, or it's cloudy out, or my, my personal favorite, you know, he's wearing it was in a blade, the first movie, and they had the main villain vampire running around in broad daylight, but it was okay because he was wearing sunscreen. I, I, I didn't know they were making SPF bajillion to protect against vampires, you know. But, um, anyway, um, <clears throat> there are, but yeah, the, the the vampire was unique. The setting was like did a good job of creating the atmosphere and and um, also the narrative. Um, you, I would almost call this a, a bit of a precursor to the found footage novels. I mean, movies, found footage movies of, you know, things like, uh, you know, uh, as, uh, Apollo 18, Cloverfield, Blair Witch, and so forth. Because that, that's essentially what this entire, what this novel is. It, you know, with, but with, uh, you know, found uh, journals. Mostly journals, and sometimes it cut to uh, letters written back and forth from different characters. Or there, you know. Hmm. On the one hand, like I thought, it was kind of interesting, but at the same time, you know, it's kind of um, it kind of kills some of the tension because you know they're gonna, the, at the very least, the person who's writing the diary is in pro, in the, you know, in the thing is gonna live. Is otherwise, how would they live to write? The, inter the entry in the diary. And, um. Also, there's like, um. I can't help but feel there are like times when they just be. Not exactly feel dated, but. You know, there'd be, um. Times where there's, um. Uh, like. Ah, uh, anyway, but. It was not. I let him. I mean, of course it would. It was written out, like I said, uh, in 1897, right? But um, even so, it was still I I still really enjoyed it. And of course, my um my my final rating would be four out of five. I like I really enjoyed it for the most part, and I would definitely recommend it to anybody who has. 
you know, some curiosity on vampires and would like to see their the humble beginnings with the original Dracula. And yeah, <clears throat> and it, it was just a and even so, it was still a very entertaining read. Anyway, um, till next time. Happy Halloween, everybody, and see you later.